the end of a term or at the end of the school year, there are some things you can do in Google Classroom to keep yourself organized. First thing is to return all student work. Second thing is unenroll your students from your Google Classroom so they no longer have access. Third thing is archive Google Classrooms that you no longer need. There are some other strategies you can do as well to reuse some of your material next year. In this video, we'll show you how to do all this. First thing to do at the end of a term, the end of the school year, is to return all the student work to them. So in the little pancake stack menu in the upper left, go down to the part that says to review. This by default will pull up all the work across all the classrooms that you have that, and it will show the status of what's been returned, what hasn't been. If you would like to drill down further and just go class by class, you certainly can. And there's a little drop down menu up there where you can select just individual classes. So what you can do at this point is if you see any that have not all been returned for whatever reason, you can go in and up will pop that particular activity. What you can do at this point is simply click on the checkbox that says all students choose return. Give you a little bit of uh, warnings if there are students who haven't handed in certain uh, work, but it doesn't matter at this point at the end of the school year. So you just click on return and it will return all of your students work. So you can continue to do that for any assignments that have any work that hasn't been fully returned to all students. The second thing you're going to want to do is unenroll your students from your Google Classroom. So open up the particular Google Classroom that is coming to a close, the end of a term, the end of a semester, the end of a school year, uh, whatever it is, maybe it's even just a, a Google Classroom you're using for one unit. Uh, whenever you no longer need students to have access, go into the People tab of that particular Google Classroom. Up will pop a list of all your students. And at the very top, just click on the checkbox so it selects all of your students. And then next to Actions, select Remove. You'll confirm this and then just simply choose Remove. And that's it. Do that for any of the Google Classrooms that you no longer need students to have access to. Now you're not going to reuse this exact Google Classroom with students next year because there's a whole bunch of classwork here that has already been posted for students. And when your new students start the year, you probably don't want them to see all of this stuff. So what we do next is we go to our list of classes and we're going to archive this Google Classroom. So on the main menu of Google Classroom, choose the three dots and scroll down to Archive. Confirm that. Don't worry, it's not completely gone yet. There is a list, if you open up that Pancake Stack menu again, at the very, very bottom, there is a list of archived classes. So in terms of cleanup, that's really it, those three strategies. Return the student work, unenroll them, and archive those classrooms. Now, for getting prepared for next term, next year, you might want to reuse some of the materials in that Google Classroom that you spent such a large amount of time working on. If this is the case, there are really two ways you can do this. You can copy an entire Google Classroom, or you can just reuse certain assignments or materials. Here's how. So in that list of archived classes, here's the Google Classroom I want to reuse next year. And I'm just going to select the three dots and then choose copy. Now it will give you a, uh, by default, it'll say copy of, but if you want to just put the next school year on there or whatever you would like, just choose whatever it is you want and then choose copy. Now it takes about a minute or so, but soon you will see this new Google Classroom listed not in your archive classes, but in your new Google Classrooms. Now, no students are yet enrolled, but it's right there waiting for you. 
and let's go look for it. And there it is. So let's look inside. Now this is why I like making a copy of the Google Classroom instead of just removing students and then having stuff in there again. When you go into the classwork section, all my previous, uh, all my previous topics are there, all my previous materials are there, but look, they're all grayed out. They're in draft form. So students cannot see a thing. Well, in fact, there are no students in this class, but even when your new students do enroll, they won't see a thing. So whenever you are ready with any particular activity, you can go in, choose edit assignment or edit material, whatever the case is in that classwork section. And when it opens up, it'll open up in draft form. You can change any of the links, any of the attachments, you can add new things, you can modify the instructions if you want, adjust the due dates. Uh, if you're ready to assign it on the spot, great. If not, you can even choose save uh, schedule for a particular schedule time in the future. Or if you do nothing, it'll just say saved uh, in your updated form. It'll stay as a draft form. And whenever you're ready, you can assign it to your students. Now, the second way to do this is if you preferred instead to create a brand new Google Classroom and you don't want anything in the classwork, or you just want to pick and choose what you might wish to reuse, you can do that. So in the classwork section of a brand new Google Classroom, you can just click create and this time choose reuse post. This will bring up a list of all your Google Classrooms and what it will let you do is once you're in that any Google Classroom, you can choose an activity or a material and you can just choose reuse. Up will pop a sort of a draft version that you can further modify if you wish to. You can choose the topic under which you wish to assign this. And whenever you're ready, you can post it to your students. So pick and choose which method works best for you, whether it's making an entire copy of the Google Classroom or whether it's just reusing the odd post here and there. 